तो है ना टू रिकैप इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स एंड एवरीथिंग व्हाट वी डिस्कस टिल नाउ सो है ना वी स्टार्टेड विद दी सम इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट दी है ना है ना इज ए हाई परफॉर्मेंस एनालिटिकल डेटाबेस इज डेवलप्ड बाय एसईपी इन सी प्लस प्लस लैंग्वेज इट्स ए कॉलम ओरिएंटेड कॉलमनर डेटाबेस राइट it has only column oriented columnar tables columnar database so these three lines you need to remember column oriented columnar database so columnar so tables it contains only column tables it has also row store tables but row store tables contains the system information system configuration but business data stores in column store table in column oriented okay that is the thing we discussed also we discussed about the hana 1.0 2.0 differences hana 1.0 is a hana 1.0 hana 1.0 is a single container the difference between hana 1.0 hana 1.0 hana 1.0 and 2.0 so hana 1.0 is a single container hana 2.0 is the multi container which means multiple databases means multiple tenant databases here but in 1.0 only stand alone database you will get the seven core process in 2.0 also you will get the seven core process but in 2.0 one system db one tenant db you will get so system db is responsible only one system db there are the multiple tenants multiple tenants here multiple tenants means so multiple tenants means so every application will point only tenant database here every application will point only that tenant databases only so which means each and every application will point to the tenant database only why because in the tenant database we have the index server and the name server so index server access engine so where actually where the actual data stores where the actual data resides index server so if index server is available in the every tenant database so application will connect to the tenant only why because index server it is available the index server it will connect to so because all that data resides in tenant db only this is a one case here right also in 1.0 2.0 one is the multi container concept and second one is the so single container multi container and also the few more changes like in 1.0 2.0 meta data got separated in the 2.0 the persistency layer format got changed in the 2.0 and it's a multi container you need to remember the three main important things in the ana 1.0 2.0 one is the metadata got separated and persistency layer format got changed and the second one is the multi container concept it's a mandatory which means one system db one tenant db will be installed then after that when you install the hana database you will get the by default hana core hana core process here seven core process you will get it out by default right so index server name server pre processor right a web dispatcher access engine daemon right so these are the compile server so these are the seven core process you will get each and every process has own responsibilities here so index server is the main in the tenant database name server is the main in the system database name server is the main in the system db database and index server is the main in the tenant database here right so everything has own responsibility here so index server has extra engines in the index server architecture there has the some extra engines are there olap engine sql processor 
OLTP engines. It will convert their queries and the engines will process the data, will help to store the data in here. So the port number for the index server, three instance number 13 is the port numbers for the index server. That is the date that will connect to the here, right? Index server port numbers, that is the port number. The studio port number which you are connecting is the three instance number 15. This is one of the frequently asked question. How the studio will connect to the index, uh, your HANA database, what is the port number, right? This is the port number, it will connect it here right so that is the one of the important thing also we discussed about the the delta merge what is the delta merge concept also we discussed about the save point interval what is the save point here during the delta merge what will happen during the save point what will happen so these are the internal process why because internal process right so the consultant should know about this process that's why the people may ask you question what is the process for stopping the hana database and starting the hana database then HDB stop and HDB start or HANA studio or SAP control command we can use for stopping and starting the HANA database. Also, what happens, what happens when you are starting the HANA DB? HANA DB when you are starting, whatever the data reloaded, again data will be loaded from main in the disk storage to main memory level. So data will be loaded to main memory level. The data will be loaded, right? From the disk storage to main memory level, it will be loaded. So how the sequence will be followed? Like system, system, system tables will be loaded. Secondary, 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 then column store tables. And so then roll back, roll forward statements happen. That is the very important thing here, right? So when you are starting the HANA database, what exactly will happen? Right. So then also one more important thing is here in HANA database, HANA installation, sorry, uh, HANA installation, which tool, which tool, which tool, so will you use, which tool will you use to start the, to start the HANA DB, to start the HANA DB here, which tool will you use to start the HANA database, HDB, LCM tools, how many ways you can do the HANA installation, right, to uh, like uh, either HDB, LCM, command prompt level, GA level, so ways of doing the, ways of doing HANA installation, ways of doing the HANA installation, HDB, LCM, HDB, LCM, GUI, HDB, LCM, web, three layers, slice. we can do the HANA installation here right so then where can you check the logs where can you check the logs here it's very important suppose where can you check the installation logs installation so logs right so it's like a slash where temp folder you can check the logs here so normally hana os level file systems os level file system also we discussed there you need to know about the trace directory here trace directory cd trace directory here the trace directory is very important so each and every process related log file will be tracked under the cd trace directory cd trace directory here in the cd trace directory so there we can check the index server dot log file name server preprocessor compile server all the log files are available there so you can check that log files to track the information and everything here, right? So that is the one important thing here, right? You need to remember that important thing, right? So which user, which user you use to start installation, right? So normally root user, we have to use it here. So what are the users will be created? What are the users will be created during the installation here right what are the users will be created during the installation so one is the so system user then sid adm user yes sap adm user here one is the sap host agent related user database user sid adm users will be created sid adm users will be created during the installation time here right so then so stop and start installation then so how to change the so like, yeah, so HANA Studio, HANA, HANA Studio, HANA Studio will run based upon the Eclipse tool. 
so which means there is an internal mechanism eclipse it will run ana studio but hana studio is the every user individual user desktop we have to install the hana studio there we can do the administration how how will you do the hana admin ana admin tasks how will you do the ana admin ana studio we can use it here so to connect to the hana studio stop and start parameter changes performance logs traces taking the traces all the information all the information we can track it here all the information we can we can check it out here ana information here right so then then what we discussed so when you are starting the hana database so coming to the performance related issues so the mainly you need to remember about the performance related issues here hana performance issues means when you are starting the hana database sometime it will take because of the maybe file system issues why because all the data should be loaded from disk disk layer to and main memory right so if in case so if the any file system issues are in a something hardware issues it will take some time to load the data right we need to just have the patience and so wait for that some time so actually that is not the case actually it should start immediately normally hana hana databases it's a expected behavior but it should not expect longer time but it it's okay but uh, somewhat level we can wait for up to 10 to 15 minutes we can wait it to bring up the start the database completely so right so not like that abap systems immediately start so hana will take some time to load the data right so then so delta much so also we discussed performance issues wise the so mainly stuff in between yesterday actually it took around 29 minutes yeah in our data in our hardware there are the some hardware issues i guess it's a old infrastructure even though i upgraded the last time also we updated the infrastructure so yeah it's taking some time i'm not sure why but uh, only thing is we need to decommission this hana box okay then i need to provision the new linux box so that so that we can able to so that will be very speed because it's a years back uh, os operating system so that's the maybe the reason everybody using the uh, this operating system and they are doing the multiple activities maybe some io issues input output issues i guess so that may be the reason it's not the actual hana issue it may be the hardware issue i guess maybe hardware. actually yeah. when we are working na uh, we clicked on one of the tab then to populate the data or refreshing the respective field also it is taking longer yeah, time yeah. i will provide the some alternative so that i will end of the class i will provide the some alternative why because while you are working on that one what i can do i can decommission this os linux box i can provision the new linux so while you are working that one this will be the very speed so i will work on that part i will provide the new hana box name so that so that i will provide you today we can yes, we can whatever i will yeah yeah thank you yeah no problem yeah it is expected actually so why because tomorrow also in your real time if you face this type of issues what you can assume you checked everything everything is fine that time so you will come to know okay this because of the hardware issues maybe file system io issues that may be the reason you are seeing this type of issue then immediately so you will you will inform to the your os team infrastructure team so that uh, they can take the respective uh, actions they will take it out upgrading the os to the another version or mounting the file system separately io increasing the io speed so network some kind of things they will perform it to troubleshoot okay i will provide that one so uh, one more thing is here in the you need to remember about the memory control memory parameters it's very important actually every para every performance issues of the hana so mana memory issues memory hang os hang means there is a memory parameter global gal limit global allocation limit parameters and also the statement memory limitation parameters here the statement the statement the statement statement memory statement memory statements or statement limitations statement allocation limit statement allocation limits then uh, statement memory uh, sorry statement memory limit and statement allocation limit so these are the some parameters here right so those parameters will control the 
entire database executions and everything here. Someone tomorrow ask what parameters you changed means you can tell like GAL limit, global allocation limit parameters, which will control it, which will control the databases and everything here, right? GAL limit, statement memory limitation parameters, those things you can explain to explain here. Why? Because so one statement, if the one statement taking more than 4 GB, then 10, 10 statements, 40 GB, 100 statements, 400 GB, which means where is memory? Then immediately system will go hung status. So we need to limit, we need to limit the usage. We need to limit the usages here. So controlling parameters we have to configure. In that case, so we need to set this controlling limitations and everything in the database level. So these parameters will be helpful here. So what is your solution? What is your suggestions means? We can set the memory limitation parameters to avoid the memory issues, dumps in the systems. How to collect the dumps? That means in ANA Studio level, we can collect the dump, collect the diagnosis files so that logs files will be collected. We can report to the SAP to find out the root cause and everything. So this kind of things we can perform it. And any other, the other thing like what we discussed. So yeah, these are the things I think uh, we covered it. The main remaining things what we have to discuss is about the ANA upgrade. Then ANA upgrade, ANA backup, ANA restore, ANA backup, ANA restore work, ANA replication, uh, ANA replication means high availability parts here. So these things take over, fail over, fail back, replication modes. So then DB refresh, DB refresh related things here, how to refresh the database here. Then what are the before refreshing? So what are the three steps in the SAP level and these things, uh, these things. So these things we have the pending items here. These are the main topics here. These all are the very important thing, the refresh few steps and everything that we'll will cover in the our Monday onwards. We will cover it here. So I mean high availability also. Yeah, a replication high availability means it comes under the high availability only. HA means high availability only. We will be discussing table partitioning as well. Yeah, yeah, table partitioning, table partitioning, partition the table. So that that thing also we'll discuss.